everybody is Rob Holden. I'm reeling and reeling and reeling. We're with Captain Al on the carnivore fishing for big halibut out of Ninilchik, Alaska. It's gonna be a great show. Right on. Yeah. This is this is where we watch the other ride. It's coming in wolf packs. You often get doubles. Alaska is a sportsman's paradise, known for amazing fishing and hunting opportunities. In late August of 2017, Rob and his wife Hillary, they were invited to fly to Anchorage for a little spontaneous Kenai Peninsula adventure. They jumped at the chance, and after a four-hour flight, they were met at the airport by their good friends from Spokane, Washington, Jeff Compton and Paul Hamilton. I'll get my big boy shirt on my hat. I'm styling. Ready to rock. The trip started on the Kenai River for Coho Salmon. And with just a couple of days left before heading home, they hook up with Jason Tanner of Tanner's Fish Processing in Minlachik. After a week of fishing for silvers on the Kenai River, we've got a lot of fish. Oh yeah. boy, howdy, have we? Got a lot. We've got a cooler full. Cooler full. And I don't think they're going to let me carry that on. Oh so, no, no, no. <laughs> it cut, oh no. <laughs> So how do we get our fish home? That's where my good buddy Jason Tanner comes in. He's got Tanner Processing, two locations here on the Kenai Peninsula. We're gonna stop in to Jason's place here and see if he can't help us get our catch home. Jason! How are you? Very good, man. Hey, we brought you gifts. <laughs> good to see you, buddy. Thank you. Jason. So we got it all vacuum packed, processed up. I just need to get it home. We can do many different things for you. We can either get it ready for the airlines or we can ship it FedEx direct to your house, whatever is most convenient for you. That sounds great. We whack them and we pack them. After checking in their fish at Tanner's, the crew heads into Homer, Alaska for some sightseeing. After a fun day around town, it's back to the Reel Em Inn to rest up for tomorrow and a day of fishing with Captain Al of Gotta Fish Charters. The Reel Em Inn is affordable and perfectly situated for fishing the Cook Inlet, Captain Al's preferred halibut hunting ground. Are you water? Get in! On this day, the last of his 2017 season, Captain Al chooses to launch from Ninlet Chip. Get the boats ready. You get like the boats get ready to be launched by the skitter? Yep. All I right. Sure do. So, what's the process we have here? Well, when we have a private boat like this, we sign them in, we get their money, then we take a description of their boat so we can spot them when they're out in the inlet. Get the number boards to them, and then we hook them up and we launch them in. And then with charter boats, we just mark them on our sheet that they're here. A one-of-a-kind experience. It's going to be quite interesting on how we get out onto the ocean. I know we don't launch like this in Washington. I know how you're going to get into the ocean. They're going to launch me with a skitter. <laughs> Courtney. Courtney, how do you like putting up with all these men every morning? You know, I like it a lot. They're only a handful half the time. The beach is lined with boats queued up for their turn to get on the water in these legendary halibut grounds. Crew works steadily, and in no time, Captain Al's boat, the Carnivore, is next to go. That's one way to do it. That's quite the launch mechanism. You get in the boat, and they launch you with a logging skitter. Pretty cool. Maybe they'll help us with my big fish. Get the loader out of here and winch that baby in. So we've got, I don't know, about an hour run, a little bit longer than an hour. We are going to be fishing Southern Cook Inlet today. Fishing the west side, down towards Augustine Volcano. Probably 
the dark side over there. But we're on the west side of the Kenai Peninsula. This is, uh, in my opinion, some of the best halibut fishing to be had in Alaska. That's why we operate down here. What are we going to be looking for? What do we expect? Oh, expecting great things. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, Captain. So are we. <laughs> we're going to give it a shot. We're going to look for, uh, hopefully we're going to look for fish between the 30 and the 100 pound range, maybe. Uh, you never know what's going to come up. But we're uh, going to be looking for some nice fat halibut. Anchor. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right, so we're setting up gear just to get everything fishing, get everything affected. We're fishing four pounds of lead. We're fishing about 240 feet deep. So halibut are not bottom-dwelling.
small halibut chickens. Not what we're looking for here. I'll let him go. So how, when, do they, when do they cross over from chicken side to uh, say a rooster? <laughs> oh, about 35, 40 pounds. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for them 30 and up. So anything under 30 is a chicken. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you got turbo chickens, thunder chickens, you know, yeah. big fat chickens. Different grades of chicken. Yeah, of course. There's a lot of grades of chicken up here. <laughs> Fried chicken. But this is no chicken run today. Chicken nuggets. Looking for that. Looking Inhale. Looking for a real halibut to commit. <laughs> so the rod tip, it's just gonna, it's gonna buckle over. Yeah, you're gonna see that rod tip. Do some big whacks. And then fish is going to commit and that rod's going to double right over. Right. <laughs> It'll happen. And then I just start reeling. Yeah, as fast as you can. 10, 15 times, get that fish hooked up. You know, these are circle hooks. You want the fish to swim away with it. The pressure on that hook circles around. Circle hooks are, circle hooks are nice because the fish don't swallow the hooks. Sure. They're safe on board. Right. And usually once we get a fish buttoned up, they don't come unbuttoned. here. All right, we're bringing up our first keeper. That's a great eating fish right there, Paul. Yeah. Well, that was just fantastic. So stick around and we're going to have some more of that for you right up here. Whaled it. All right. We'll get up here. That was a hard kick down. Yeah. The halibut bongo. Second shark of the day. It's a long ways down. Rrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
<laughs> this thing is just peeling line, whatever it is, it's big and unhappy. Captain Al says he, he thinks it might not be a house, it might be a skate. It's in the Ray family. They catch their share of them up here. Oh yeah, it's a big old skate. That's something we don't really see down there and that's something we don't really see down there in Washington or Oregon. Is that a good fight? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it fought. Yeah, it was it was interesting. Take these little runs and just no matter what I was doing, it'd peel a little line out. fish so far Al. Paul's got one. State of Alaska says non-residents get two halibut a day. Is that right? All people get two halibut a day. Okay. Uh, halibut are a federally regulated fish. Uh, everybody in the country owns them. Doesn't matter if you're resident, non-resident, you're allowed two halibut per day. Uh, we're under international treaty with Canada actually no matter where you go in North America you'll never be able to keep more than two halibut. So gotcha. that's what we're looking for. Look for a few more. This one back there. <laughs> and there, when you when you've got a paid charter, where somebody books you, they've got a little bit different regulation than today when we're just out here sport fishing with you. It's true. Uh, you're still allowed two halibut. You're allowed one of any size, mm -hmm. but your second halibut has to be under 28 inches, and that's currently what it is this year. And on a charter boat in Alaska, you're allowed four halibut annually. Uh, on a private boat or a fun trip, you're allowed two per day all summer long while the season's open. But uh, on a charter boat, one of any size, one under 28 inches, make your two fish, and four annually. Right on. So we're shooting for two apiece today, right? Correct. <laughs> all right. Still shooting. Right on. Hey, he's not there, he popped off. A lot of time. Get in there, Get in there! Get in there! Get in there! Get 
fish. Yes. And he knows how to pump a fish. Come on, Hillary. Okay, I'll take a couple steps backwards. No. I'm not a huge fish. I'm gonna eat her for today. Right on. Me and Jeff both caught that one. Jeff pulled her as long as he could and his left arm gave out. <laughs> Jeff, go ahead. We did it together. The team effort. I thought that left arm was starting to go <laughs> on you. a lot of structure. We fish a lot of breaks. We've got a big mud flat up here. Uh, table's out about 180 feet. It drops off into about 270. We're fishing that break. You see the halibut like to cruise those breaks. Looking for food, looking for forage, you know. So keep your baits moving. A lot of times we fish uh, not live bait, but we fish uh, salmon heads and we fish herring, we fish octopus. We like long, thin profile baits, you know, get some action down there. Let those halibut pick up the tail end, you know. Sure. Suck it in like a piece of spaghetti. Right. But keep your baits moving and keep a lot of scent down there. We're on anchor right now. Create a scent line out behind us and we can get those halibut. They collect to the boat, collect to the boat. Just keep those baits moving. Keep them working sooner or later. I can't resist. Yeah, worked yeah, today, right. Captain. Yeah, it sure did work today. 
you got availability out here in your May season for combo trips. Oh and yeah. Then next year in late August, mid August. Yeah. September. We uh we run our trips from May first all the way through about September fourth. Uh, May we weather do, permitting. Obviously. Weather permitting, right? <laughs> uh, May we do king salmon halibut combos. Uh, June, July, August that's our peak season. We put up lots of nice big halibut. Uh, and then towards the end of August, you know, we start to loosen up a little bit on availability and. Uh, yeah, it's still great fishing, even though the last day of season. But uh, yeah, all summer long, we're we're up here uh, catching the halibut. Well, this is a nice box, of, nice box of keepers. What do you think? Oh boy, it's awesome, awesome Good fishing eaters. up here. Yeah. Good. Right on. Okay. Well, let's get back to the docks. All right. Or the bank or the tractor. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually driving forward to my ankle. Oh, it was a great day. Captain Al. Captain Al, Jason Tanner, the whole crew, Adam. Adam, the deck cam was fantastic today. Yep. We're, we're going to take some fish home. We stopped in yesterday and talked to Jason, got it all set up, or all we got to come, all we have to do is get back here and he's going to take it from there. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs> All right, so we got the last of our catch here, and Jason's gonna ship it down. We should see it Wednesday? Wednesday, yep. Man, I really appreciate everything you've done for us, connecting us with Al and everybody. Uh, it's gonna be great to see you back in the States at some point, maybe come out to the Bighorn Show and visit with us. It'd be awesome, meet I some folks. Meet down there. It'd be great. You can talk about fishing with me. <laughs> right? That'd be fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> So that's all for today. We'll see you online and on the water. That sounds great. <laughs>